Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk a little bit about mouthwash. I've been reading more and more studies that indicate that mouthwash is killing some of the good bacteria that helps keep blood pressure lower. There are bacteria in the mouth that are needed for the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is something that relaxes blood vessels and by relaxing blood vessels it helps to lower blood pressure. So if these bacteria in the mouth are killed, the, these are good bacteria, we have less nitric oxide. Less nitri nitric oxide tends to lead to more high blood pressure or increased blood pressure, which can have many adverse effects, including risk of stroke, cognitive decline, more problems with heart attacks. For instance, recently there was an article indicating that hospitalized patients who were using antiseptic or mouthwashes, strong mouthwashes, had a higher mortality than those that were not. Also, there are numerous studies now showing that people who are using a mouthwash twice a day regularly have overall higher blood pressure than those that are not. So one must be careful with the mouthwash that one is using. Now, if you have low blood pressure, I don't think it's a concern. But if you have high or borderline or a tendency towards high blood pressure, it's very possible that the mouthwash that you're using, if you're using one, may be contributing to that elevated blood pressure or may increase your risk of hypertension. So I have a family history of high blood pressure. I have a tendency towards high blood pressure. I no longer use any strong mouthwashes. In fact, I don't use any mouthwashes because if you're keeping your mouth clean and healthy, you truly don't need a mouthwash. People feel mouthwash will give them a fresh breath. It may be cover up, may cover up breath for a little while, but it will not eliminate bad breath if you truly have it. There are other ways that that bad breath can be eliminated. So I, I tend to avoid using any chemicals in my own mouth. And I've mentioned this before also, I don't use toothpaste. There's no need to use toothpaste. It's not the toothpaste that does the cleaning. It's the bristles of the brush that use, do the cleaning. So I clean very thoroughly with a toothbrush with no toothpaste. I use a water pick to make sure everything is really clean. And then I use interdental cleaners or dental floss to make also sure that there's no film and everything is cleaned out. And if you have a clean mouth, you don't really need mouthwash unless you have chronic bad breath, which is caused by a different kind of bacteria, which most people don't have. So I've had patients recently coming in who've complained about pain in their mouth, burning in their mouth. And when I've asked them to stop using mouthwash and stop using toothpaste and come back two weeks later, and this uh, has occurred recently with several patients, they come back and have told me that this comfort and the pain and the burning that they've had is now gone. So, you know, it's very interesting. My own feeling is the less unnecessary exposure to chemicals in your mouth, the better. So at any rate, I just wanted you to be aware of some of this interesting material that's coming more and more to the fore recently. Remember, if your mouth isn't healthy, you're not going to be as healthy as possible. Take good care of yourself. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. Questions, comments. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.